Hey, what's up, IGN? My name is Jose Otero, and I'm here with JC from Nintendo Streethouse. What's going on, man? Dude, not much. How are you? So we're here playing Box Boy, and I need you to tell me what is this game. Okay. Tell so, the folks at home. So you can go ahead and hop into World uh, World One, yeah, okay. like the first stage. So Box Boy is kind of like an action puzzler, and the way it works is, you know, this uh, this character's name is QB, QBBY. Mm -hmm. He can emit blocks and produce blocks, and you use the blocks and you toss them. Um, to solve puzzles. So again, he can jump and produce blocks. Those are his two main things. So again, you're kind of showing how he can kind of jump with the B button. Then you're going to have to produce some blocks. You hold down the Y button, you move the plus control pad somewhere, and then you use the block to get over an obstacle. Okay. You have to use those blocks in creative ways to solve each of the puzzles. Got it. And there's a box limit on certain stages or early on. Like right now, our box limit is one. Right. So every stage has a particular box limit, but it really depends because it's all catered for that particular containable. So sometimes you have a box level or a box Box limit of like one, sometimes it's two or three, it just depends what it is. So, Got it. so right. different ways to emit blocks and toss them. So you can kind of emit, you can produce a block, you can toss it. Um, and, and you can produce it in any direction or pull it back in, mm -hmm. as people are seeing here. So since we have a box limit of one, we can only produce one. Correct. Toss it and go. Uh, we can also push them, which surprised me earlier. Like I didn't realize I had missed the mark and, and then <laughs> could have pushed, which they teach us right here. Correct. And it's also really good to note that you know you may find that a technique that you haven't used for a while, or like, oh, I forgot I could push a block. It will really help you get past like certain obstacles. Mm -hmm. All right, for sure. Now there's some cool uh, customization going on. So we're gonna actually going to skip out of world one to show folks a little more of that. Sure. Uh, so again, you can see here this has all crowns collected, but at the okay. same time, usually when you complete a stage, these have already been completed, but you can go to the map. Mm -hmm. um, you collect these things called medals. Okay. And so as far as customization goes, you take those medals and you take the shop. So okay. once you select the shop, you can spend those medals to unlock costumes. That's a great example. So if I'm going to costumes, oh. uh, and each of these costs a little bit to unlock. You can see your medals. It has a number count. Okay. Um, and you can pick each one of them. So pick whichever one you want. My, yeah, let's go yeah, with the wrapper. I like the wrapper. It's oh, got the hat on. got the cool shades. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Yep. So okay, once you back, got, yeah, there's yeah. also, yeah, there's music. Yep. And like you can unlock essentially music that you can listen to. Okay. Uh, challenges are like little mini games. Mm -hmm. yeah, and uh, tips and tricks are exactly what they are. You can spend okay. them and check out the books in there and then, you know, me teach a thing or two that may help you get past uh, some uh, troubling spot. Got it, got it. Okay, so where should we head now? I Who's this behind us, by the way? Who is she? I'll let you find out. I'm not even going to spoil that for you. All right, so where I should think we, she's awesome. Where uh, should we go? Go to World 3, please. World 3. Yeah, All right, World let's 3 do it. Look out for lasers. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. That's always the start of something cool. Mm -hmm. So right. the blocks are, you've only seen the blocks used to, uh, you know, to, to kind of get over a particular area. If there's something high, right, you put them down. In this case, producing and tossing a block is not going to help you here. You have to produce a block, but you can carry it, exactly. You yeah. can carry it on top of you. Okay, got it. Oh, mm -hmm. let me let that go. Oh. So okay, that's another technique you actually learn later on, which you jumped ahead, which is fine. That's good that you found that's that good. out. good. Cool, cool. You can latch onto a ledge. It's called hooking. So you can hook okay. on that, but you got to be careful. Oh, what okay, so, there? Okay, so okay. think about it. That switch, you know, go ahead, and, go ahead and produce another block. Once you produce a block, your old block is gone. Got it. Okay. So notice when you put the um, you put the block down the switch, that that produces another block elsewhere to kind of block that laser so it doesn't hit you. Yeah, but now I can't get my crown. That's the problem. Well, how do you get it then? All right, let's try this. Oh, this is not working. All right. Actually, you technically you already, you know, you already, already got, got the crown. Okay. I mean, I mean, a lot of these stages have already been fulfilled. But if you see a crown filled in, there is a way to actually get there got and it. to be there. So okay, let's skip ahead. Mm -hmm. Stage cleared. You could do one more if you want. Yep, absolutely. So a lot of the times in these uh, laser levels, you'll be kind of, you know, all you really need to do is emit one block. You don't really need two. Okay. Now, how do you get past this? Okay. Let's see if we can figure this one out. Not, well, not like that. I'll tell you that much. Close. <laughs> you can all, yeah. You can also press down, and you can drop the block where it's at. So if you produce a block to your right, press down and drop it where it's at. Got it. Okay. How do you get that's that? That's a bad spot. Yeah. Try it again. What, what do you think oh, you should well, do? That's, uh -oh. oh, that's right. Technically, I know it's, you saw it disappear there, and what what it is is you actually have a remaining count. So if you take a look at the bottom screen, it says remaining negative one. If you hit L and R at the same time, you can try it again and reset the block count. Okay, so let's do that. And then you have, uh, actually, no, you may need to just go back because you Twice. need, to, <laughs> or actually, you may need to go back and restart the stage because they give you a certain amount of blocks you can use to collect the crowns. Oh, once I understand. you collect, yeah, okay. once you collect the crowns, the box count is off. So if can I you get to, to the crowns? Pull this off. Okay, I got to you it. Could. 
spot. There we go. And now I'm trapped. That's okay. Right. You're fine because you can keep producing blocks. It's just to get the crowns. Got it. Got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh oh. Right. Think about it. Think about it. Bad. Think about it. Let's go for three. That'll work. Yep. Totally. There you go. So you, you took a look All at your right. box limit. You may lose use. Exactly. So the blocks can not only get you to places, but they can also protect you from things that are trying to harm you. Excellent. All right. Let's go for one more uh, Ooh, tough you'll, stage. You'll like this one. Let's do it. Let's, right. th these, again, are very easy. There's tons and tons of worlds in here, but mm -hmm. I would hop into, let's say, world five. It will take a couple stages. Yeah. Okay. Got it. I'm going to fast travel there. Mm -hmm. Let's just take a speed this along. Do so how many perfect. levels do you know offhand? A lot. <laughs> I know okay. that independent levels, I mean, there's about six to eight, depending on the world, uh, okay. six to eight you know, stages per world. And there's a little over 20 worlds. There's quite a bit. There's quite a bit of content here. Oh, wow. OK, so, so this was the maneuver you were telling me about earlier. Yes, a little bit more complicated. So you need to draw something. Now, once you place it, see that red highlight at the mm -hmm. very last block? Yep. That's the block you will teleport to if you can reach it. And it's all gravity-based. It has to hook onto a ledge. OK, So got in this it. case, you do the same thing. Once you get to the ledge, you let go, and then press Y again. Press y again. It will zap you to where yeah, that is, and then you have to do it again, obviously, to get to the next space. Very cool. These are one of the more advanced tactics, but you'll have to use these in tandem with what you know. This is again still training to just you know just to get through basic things and how to use it. So awesome, pretty simple, very cool. All so, right, JC, thanks a lot for the demo. Anytime, for sure. anytime. Yeah, yeah. All right, and for more coverage on Box Boy, make sure you keep it right here at IGN.